Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of uh, Creative Class with Kiran. I am your English mentor Kiran and uh, currently I'm doing this series on stylistic writing and effective speech, helping you with words that will make your writing more effective, more impressive and you will be able to grab the reader by the hook. And I'm trying to help you append your vocabulary so that the words you use create an imagery in the minds of the readers. Today, I'll be talking about words that help you to describe food. Look, the kind of words that you use should be able to appeal to the five senses, which is uh, sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch. And food is to do with sight, it is to do with uh, smell, it is to do with taste and sometimes even when you touch food uh, you do get a certain feel but are you using the right words instead of the plain words like uh, tasty yummy delicious i find them rather bland so let's get cracking with these kind of words um, in fact uh, you could compare a dish to a picture a sports game a musical performance uh, you know because uh, it does have its own special character, but uh, how to describe taste and flavor? Let's begin alphabetically. And uh, this uh, describing foods I'll be doing in three episodes because there are so many words, a plethora of them. Acerbic is anything sour, bitter, sharp, cutting, caustic, acid, mordant, barbed, prickly, biting, pointed. Opposite, mild, sweet, or honeyed. Acid or acidic is the same, sharp, tart, sour, bitter, just the opposite of sweet, sugary, and honey. Acrid taste can be considered pungent, bitter, choking, sharp, unpleasant, harsh, cutting, caustic, bitter, vitriolic, mordant, tronchon, sour, tart, biting, acerbic. Aftertaste is the trace, hint, smack, relish, the savor food leaves behind. Ambrosia is the food of gods and epicurean delight, food fit for a king, delicacy, heavenly spread, gastronomical delight. In fact, uh, this food is uh, something that transports you to a different world. At least that's the feeling you get when you eat this food. And then from this word comes ambriosal, fit for the gods, delectable, mouth-watering, heavenly, savory, delicious, tasty, toothsome, divine. It's not at all distasteful or disgusting. Appealing food, it could even be in terms of uh, the sight of the food and taste. It's attractive, tempting, interesting, pleasing, alluring, likable, engaging, charming, fascinating and glamorous. It's never repulsive, disgusting or repellent. Appetite, that's your hunger, craving, desire, taste, ravenousness, sweet tooth, thirst, portion or passion. For food. When we have an appetite for something, we don't find it revulsive, repulsive, or distasteful. And then from that comes the appetizer. That's the tidbit, snack, starter, or the finger, food dip. Uh, no, that's finger food and dip, cold cuts, kick shop, olives, anchovies, canapes, dim sum, apertif, roll mops, antipasto, crudite. Appetizing from this word, yet again, is something that we find appealing, mouth-watering, delectable, savory, delicious, palatable, inviting, tantalizing, toothsome, luscious, tempting, tasty, enticing. The absolute opposite of nauseating, sickening, repulsive, unappetizing, and revolting. Astringent food is biting, sharp, cutting, acerbic, severe, rough, acrid, mordant, caustic. It is not mild, soft, or gentle. Balsamic is something soothing, balm, mild, gentle, temperate, tranquil, calm. It is never irritating or abrasive. A biting taste means caustic, piercing, penetrating, stinging, sharp, severe, mordant. It is not gentle, balmy or soothing. Bitter taste is acrid, tart, sour, harsh, acidic, vinegary, acerbic. It's the opposite of sweet, honeyed, mild, gentle and warm. Brackish means salty briny or saline. Caustic is something cutting, biting, acid, acidic, sharp, astringent, stinging, scathing. It's the opposite of mild, sweet or smooth. 
choice is your selection of pick but in relation with food like you say a choice steak it means more often superior excellent select top notch fine first rate high quality cream of the crop vintage prime delectable food is delicious tasty mouth watering appetizing scrumptious luscious enjoyable palatable delightful toothsome pleasing satisfying it's not tasteless disgusting or nauseating delicious meals and that's something we use very often this term delicious they are also tasty appetizing scrumptious yummy luscious delectable mouth watering fit for a king delightful lovely wonderful pleasant enjoyable appealing enchanting charming and it's not at all tasteless or unpleasant divine cooking is something that's really fit for the gods heavenly godly celestial great marvelous delightful lovely blissful nothing earthly at all then we have dry food that is desiccated and withered like an old prune or like raisins in fact sometimes dry food keeps better as uh, you have beans and pulses the more dry the better they are the dry weight the solid part in canned food gives you an idea of the real nutritional value but dry food i mean dry food is juiceless and tasteless lacking moisture it needs sauce food with a sharp biting taste or with high proportions of strong alcohol is also dry food food eaten without any spread sauce or garnish would be eaten dry overcooked meat also gets dry because it loses all its juices dulce is sweet honey pleasant in a gentle way this originates from the french word uh, that means sweet and something that is in harmony with your taste or likings it's never harsh from this word comes dulcify something that's been made sweeter or softer in taste it is edulcorated or sweetened flavored foods means seasoned food that has been given flavor by normal seasoning or by artificial flavoring which flavor any but it is sure to give it some kind of taste and experience and so from this word comes flavorful full of flavor flavorsome tasty tangy appetizing palatable savory or sweet and uh, lesser known words for this would be sapid or saporous but certainly this kind of food is not flavorless tasteless bland flat or insipid those are the opposites flavorings or seasonings is something added to the food for the flavor it imparts or the act of adding flavor to food and this comes from adding herbs spices condiments seasonings or some food additives as different flavorings from this word comes flavorsome which includes uh, good tasting full of flavor specifically pleasant flavor implying delicious tasty appetizing scrumptious yummy juicy succulent heavenly inviting luscious mouth watering palatable saporous savory maybe divine toothsome and tempting it's just the opposite of distasteful nauseating repulsive sickening unappetizing unsavory so you don't have to say the food was yuck there are better words to express that and you don't have to keep saying the food was awesome man come up with the right words then you have fruity food that is uh, food that has a taste smell or flavor of fruit anything tasting or smelling richly of or as of fruit a wine full of fruity flavors will probably be considered concentrated full bodied full flavored heady heavy lusty mellow potent redolent rich strong well matured gamey refers to the flavor or strong odor of game especially game that is starting to spoil that would be malodorous and rancid certainly not fresh it's a word more often applied to other areas than to food gustatory is relating to the sense of taste to the sensation in the taste buds harsh food is unpleasant to the taste abrasive coarse acerbic astringent biting bitter caustic cutting dry mordant nasty sharp stinging vitriolic and it's definitely not smooth 
And here, I would like to uh, end. I've just started on the alphabet H. I'll continue with more words starting from H onwards in my next episode because I like to serve things in small sizes, small proportions, so that you can digest it better. I hope you found this episode useful. Please do click the like button, share this episode, and please do subscribe to my channel. And in your comments, tell me, what more would you like from me uh, when it comes to aspects of English language and uh, making your writing more effective, more stylistic. This is your friendly neighborhood English mentor, Kiran, signing off for this episode. The next episode is coming up in a short while.